What's up you guys, it's Matt here. So right now we're seeing some really, really good movement from AMC and I wanted to talk about this, show you where things are right now. Um, I don't plan for me to create any other videos. I might make a, a crypto video on this channel as well. So if you guys wanna see that, um, you know, definitely look out for that somewhere around five, but I'm gonna be uploading this as soon as possible because obviously markets can change. And I do feel like maybe the market will change a little bit, uh, especially playing catch up with the rest of the market. So let's talk about this guys. If you could make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell for more videos like this one. Also make sure you check out some of the links down below. It does help out the channel. If you guys do want to, um, sign up for a platform to where you can, uh, grab AMC or grab any other, uh, position, any other stock, then feel free to go and check out the link for Weeble down below, sign up and, you know, be a part of that um, over there if you want to. Now, like I said, AMC is making some pretty decent uh, sized moves today. And I wanted to kind of uh, dive into it a little bit because we haven't talked about AMC much. And I want to make this a stock related channel to where we are talking about you know, not only AMC, but also GME and Meta and Tesla and all these other plays. So if you guys want more of that, feel free to hit that subscribe button down below. Feel free to like away and comment. And let me know that you are enjoying these videos. So anyways, before we get into what AMC is actually doing, let's get into a little bit of the score, the short score, because this is probably the most important piece of, um, you know, AMC where you can see um, the short score is still at 90. We're still seeing a 23.3% um, uh, short interest percent of free float and how high that is, which is insane compared to some other positions like Amazon, which is less than 1% or others that seem like they're heavily shorted at like 2%, but AMC is over here at 23%, you know, short interest of free float, which is definitely a major impact to where this price can go in the end. While we see this at a level of four or five dollars or whatever the price ends up being, we can see this grow to a, a massive level, um, you know, with basically just seeing the the short interest um, and and the recovery of those shorts or, you know, the, um, you know, the cash back or buyback of those those shorts. I really don't know. For some reason, I'm losing the term in my head. I haven't covered stocks in such a long time um, <laughs> that I'm losing the term in my head. I'm sure you guys will figure out what I'm trying to say in the comment section below. But basically, the covering of those shorts, um, that would be uh, astronomical uh, to this price. The price would move a hell of a lot. Um, we also see that the overall utilization is still at 100%. But the point is, is that this is still being shorted. Um, we all know that it's still being shorted. Some people gave up on it. Some people don't believe in it. And um, that's understandable. But let's let's go into what AMC is doing right now. We're kind of seeing a little bit of a pullback um, as we see a, a peak point of uh, $6.20. But you can see how this thing has been moving from the beginning of the pre-market or not even the beginning of the pre-market. From a certain period in the pre-market around 8 o'clock, we started to see this thing climb. And as we got into the actual market, I'm sure there are people that are thinking, hey, you know what? This is going to dump back down to the 200 EMA. And at some point, it would catch up to the 200 EMA. Obviously, that's how things work. So we have seen it skyrocket. It surpassed all the way up to $5.80, so which it did resist down to about the uh, 15 moving average, getting back on plane, moving with it, um, staying actually, um, you know, actually seeing it below this, so breaking below it and using it as a form of more resistance than anything. But you were seeing this, you know, uh, surpass it, come back, use the um, the VWAP as more of a form of resistance there, surpassing the VWAP, now using the VWAP as a form of support. And you could see that support and how it has climbed, then started to use the 50 moving average as a form of support. Sorry, I'm getting a lot of no notifications here. Um, then we have um, the 50 moving average just continuing to use as support. And now maybe we're going to see somewhere around the VWAP um, as a form of support or it's going to surpass it. It looks like it's about to retest it um, and maybe touch uh, touch point with the 200 EMA. Um, yeah, it looks like that's going to be the case. It has uh, broken past the uh, VWAP. And as we are recording this, again, like I said, I thought that it would play catch up with the rest of the market. And I wanted people to be prepared because that's what the market is for. Investing is for a lot of people to take profit, find certain levels, find certain resistances, find certain support levels, and um, invest at those support levels. This is why you see a lot of people maybe investing around this VWAP level because they think it's going to test it and then pump back up. However, 
um, it hasn't really tested it in a while, you know, in a number of minutes, we haven't seen this test the VWAP. So maybe it's going to uh, bounce off of that and you're looking for that bounce. And once you do see that bounce and uh, hopefully surpass the 15 moving average, then you can see that continuation or that climb uh, after people taking profit today being up, you know, 12% or even at a high point, I believe it was like 16 or 17%. So Definitely looking for this to, um, you know, obviously for me, make some positive moves because I still hold, um, I still hold uh, 13, 1300. So yeah, I hold 1300, uh, you know, AMC at a price point of $21. So I'm well below my cost basis. Um, I have profited from this, but I'm well below the cost basis as I put more money into it um, because I put more money into it as it was at higher prices after I took money out at, at $20, I put some in at a higher point. So ultimately I have about $10 that I took $10,000 that I took out, um, to put into cryptocurrency while $6,000 was reinvested to kind of slightly raise my cost basis as well as, um, lower that cost basis after it was slightly raised. So now we're starting to see this climb a little bit. Um, and it's good. For the overall monthly look, we want to see this kind of retest the um, 200 EMA here. So $11.70. It has had a point to retest the uh, 15 moving average at $8.74 or getting close to there, uh, seeing it at about $7.33. So really trying to retest that. And hopefully we can see this kind of surpass that level and surpass some of these even higher levels um, that we've been at. So maybe $16. Uh, maybe getting up to a level of $20. That's what we're looking for is those kind of uh, retest points. But ultimately right now, um, it looks good with the movement. It's just know that the um, the shorts aren't fully covered. Like they're not covering all their shorts. We are seeing this at a lot of pressure right now, but we aren't seeing them cover all of their shorts just because it's raising by 16%. Understand that that has much more of an impact. And I believe that this is going to really uh, push this thing forward. And we're going to see some major success in the markets whenever the markets do recover as a whole. But again, it's playing catch up to the rest of the market. Look at Roblox down by 7%. Look at Ape down by 7%. Look at Tesla down by 3%, almost 4%. GME down by 5%. So things are kind of being tested. And I feel like uh, AMC is going to kind of play catch up to the rest of the market. Now, will it come back all the way down to being down 5% or down 7%? Uh, who really knows? Um, I would say probably, yes, it's going to come back to a level to where it is. Um, you know, negative on the day, but um, I'm hopeful that we'll see a bounce and continuation of these bounces off of the VWAP. And I hope the second half of the day does not prove uh, me right there. I would like to be proved wrong, um, completely wrong, um, but just watch out and be careful for uh, some sort of a pullback. If you are day trading, um, always find a way to take your profit. If you're swing trading, always find a way to take your profit. But the long-term goal in this is is much more than where we are right now, in my opinion. So guys, hit the like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more videos like this one. I just wanted to make this video and uh, put this out here on the NFA channel. I don't know if I'm gonna have another video on this channel, but uh, if there is gonna be one, it'll be somewhere around five o'clock. But I'm gonna get out of here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.